What's going on guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I normally use Twitch on my clips. So I'll give you a little preview of what I normally do. And what what I'm doing there is just a slight slide and blur effect with, with um, the Twitch plugin which I'll show you with my new composition right here. It's going to be Twitch comp. So I'll show you the raw footage. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and select the first clip, add Twitch, and then the first thing you're gonna, you're gonna notice is that adding Twitch itself does absolutely nothing, <laughs> which is funny. But um, what you have to do is go to enable right here and then enable the effects you want to use. Um, for this one, we're just going to be using the slide and blur, so go ahead and activate that. So once you activate that, you'll notice that it'll do, it'll do those effects for the entire clip. So let's look at that. So yeah, that obviously is not good. So what we're going to do is um, change the amount. Um, so keyframe that amount right there, and then tap U to bring up your keyframes. And then let's adjust this so it only... It only turn activates at the transition. So let's go here. I want 100% there. Let's bring it down to zero. So that it'll... Yeah, so when it transitions, it'll go... It'll activate. In Alright, and then... Let's add a twitch again to this next clip. Go to enable, let's do slide and blur. Keyframe the amount, tap U to bring up your keyframes. And I think I had it right about there. As we can see here, it doesn't look like it's doing much. So what, what I'm gonna try and do, okay, so it activates there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the operator controls for. I'm gonna do both of them. Let's do blur first. Um, so over here you can see like the um, amount of twitches per second right here. So every every second that goes by, it's going to twitch one time. Um, I'm gonna increase that just a little bit so that we get it to activate over here where we want it. Same thing with the slide. Let's go and collapse blur and go to slide, and then change that number to like 1.5. Okay, so that's, that's about where we want it to be. Strip, go to the amount, bring that back down to zero. Okay, looks all right so far. Let's take a look. You know what, actually I don't think we want this one here. I'm gonna go and deactivate this Twitch because I don't think I had that one on the, uh, the other footage. Alright, so that looks like a decent, it looks like a decent um, Twitch there. So I want to just copy and paste this. So let's select all these keyframes, hit Control C, and then let's go to the next clip here and then hit Control V to paste it. Let's tap U to bring up our keyframes so we can adjust where it, see it's not doing anything. That means we need to adjust the time. Probably need to adjust the time again for this one. It's kind of, oops. Oh, is it enabled? Oh, I must have attached the wrong one. Here, let me see. Try that again. Control copy. Control B. Bring up our keyframes. Is enable? They're not enabled, that's weird. Okay. Go to enable slide and blur. Let's check our operator controls real quick. See he's got changed. It should've it should have copied, but it, it didn't copy. That's kinda weird. Um go ahead and change these back up a little bit. Looks like it's shaking a little bit too much, so what I'm gonna do is with the middle keyframe where it gets the highest, 
I'm gonna change the amount down some because that seems to look a little much. So let's take a look. It's a little late. Let's scoot these over a little bit. Mm, a little still too late. Maybe it's not long enough either. Stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, something off the timing a little bit, but um, we're gonna go ahead and move on because I want to get this done quickly. Let's see, draw copy, and then same thing here. Okay, so those those actually copy correctly. That's good. Alright, and then last clip. Just control B. Press your bring up the keyframes. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of the um the text from the show coming up. Or the subtitles, I mean. So I'm just gonna scale this up some so you can't really see that. This one is a little high, but as you as you guys can see, Twitch is not that complicated. I mean, the whole point of it is to simplify everything, and it does a great job of that. So you can kind of play around with it as you please. Um, there's other there's other um, ways to use it here, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna stick it with this with the uh, blur and slide, which is probably the most the cleanest things to be using with Twitch. Um, it's blur and slide, so. With that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tutorial off. Um, give me some su suggestions down below about what you guys want to learn next, and um, I'll go ahead and give those a shot. But um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bunker.